for this cause many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep. I just Why? those verses. Thank you, Sister Gail. I understand clearly. And thank you, Apostle. God bless you, and it's a blessing to have you join in with us today to make your voice be heard. And Mother Jennifer. And Mother Jennifer. And, Mom, and Mama Jennifer. But you know, you know. I know that, and Mama Jennifer. Yeah, keep her in your prayers as well. I know you always do, but still, let you know. No problem. We will. Thank you, thank you. Next person, any more questions for Apostle? This is great. Mother Jeanette again. But Scott, go forth. When you dream seeing words or sentences, how important is that? When you dream seeing words or sentences? Yes, Apostle. Like clear sentences in your dream. Except when I wake up, I don't remember half the words. All right. Um, All right. When you dream seeing words or sentences, maybe it's a situation where um, certain words might be speaking about you or being questioned about you. And that's something that you should... You know, like be prepared to answer, be prepared to answer question, or you know, the word, the word. As I said, it, what kind of word could it be? Is it be does, does it be like the word of God, or just ordinary? No, just ordinary words. Like I, I could dream I'm in a a certain place and then just some words just flash in front of my face in a dream very clearly. Um, not negative words, but not biblical either. Just and you, and it's you, almost uh, like you're getting a hint in your dream. Okay. But you don't remember it when you wake up. Okay. Well, um, it's also maybe because of what you are pursuing in life maybe there are things that might reach you that you have to take very good note of and to know what you are to receive from what you are not to receive you get what I'm saying to you? so, it's, so is it a spiritual message or is it coming from a good side or it depends or it depends it depends because as i said it could that's why I, I said it could be if it's if it's not good words if you can see the words clearly and tell what the word is did you able to see the word clearly to say this word you know is a yeah, word that okay so um very clear and Yes. So what was the word? That's why by the time I wake up, I don't quite remember all the words. So they don't they're remember. never negative. They're always like good words. Oh, they were good words. So yes. may, maybe also, may, as, as I said... Can you read the Bible? Who is that? Who is talking? Maybe, maybe also... It is something that is telling you it's time for you to get down into the word, name it or what have you. Amen. 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 You get what I'm saying? All right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Glory be to God. Is there anyone else? If you're tired, people of God, we can. Anyone else? Can I ask you a question? Oh, Lord, I love it. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. One at a time. Who is it? Um, 
It's Mother Aline again. Sorry, I don't want to jump. Hold on. No, 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 no. Give somebody. Wait, wait, wait. You'll, I'll come back to you. Let Entry somebody. Off. Let it's somebody that never Before speak. The... Entry notice on. Yes, I just want to ask a question about. Who is that? Say, I just want to ask. My name is Mark. Okay. Mark okay. Okay, but well, we wanted yes, but we wanted to see if there was anybody that has not okay. asked the question yet. Bless God, Minister Joseph. No, no, no. All our Minister Joseph, a lady is talking by the name of Maxine. Let her come forth. Oh. She have never, she never Sorry. speak. Sorry. Next is you. Go ahead with her. Okay. Uh, my name is Oh. It's Marsha McGee. I just wanted to... Hold on, hold on. Did you... Hold on. Did you able to speak before? Yes. Hold yes, on a I minute. Was, I was asking if there was somebody new, you know, that had not asked a question yet. Is there anyone that had not been able to that wanted to ask a question? And that's when Brother Joseph came forth. We'll come back to you, my dear. After Sister Arlene, then I'll come back to your um, sister, um, Maggie. All right, thank you. Thank you. Brother Joseph, no, go for Brother it. Brother Joseph, go for Yes, I have a, I have a, a dream question. Dreaming are dead relatives in black. I cannot understand that one. So when you um oh you're saying on the line you're saying when you're dreaming and dreaming about somebody in black yes a dead relative well um one thing I can tell you about um black is uh, you know where people put on black to moan and all that and sometimes it's a message they are coming with and it's not a good message. You know, when your dreams see, and and let me say this to you, um, when your dreams see a relative, it don't have to be a relative. It can be just be a, the the angel. It's it's like the angel of death coming to give you a a, a message that somebody is going to die. You get what I'm saying to you. But the the reason why that person come in the reason why that angel come in the form of your family is because they know that you will more accept that message more than a stranger coming. So that is to show that it's a angel that come in the form mm, of that person. But it's um coming in black is not a good um that's not a good um what you would say message right there. That's you know spirit of death want to creep up right there. So when you you know many times when you see these things you can cancel it, send it back to the pit of hell. I receive it. You don't have to receive what God show you before it happen. You rebuke it in Jesus' name. And I rebuke the spirit of death in Jesus' name. God bless. Okay. Is there anybody else that has not asked a question that would like to ask a question, a spiritual question? I would like to ask one. My name is. I'm sorry. What is your name? My name is Ethelene. Okay, Ethelene, go for it. Okay, when and it's concerning dream. Um, when you have a dream that that it's a sexual dream, like you're actually having uh sex, and you can actually feel. Um, whoever the person is, but you can't see the person. Um, is that something that's, that's bad? I wish if this echo could go away. Um, 
Um, and, and the next thing I want to ask you, do you see this person come in your dream more than one time? I can't, I can't hear you keep breaking up from the bed because of the echo. Who is having that echo? Somebody phone is echoing and need to be mute. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, uh -huh, but I can kind of still hear the echo, but going here. What I was saying is this um situation occurred more than one time with the same person i don't know if it's the same person it, 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 it occurred all the time all the time and i take authority over it um but i can never see the person i can feel the person okay this is to show that there's a spiritual husband in the midst you understand what I'm saying? Somebody is trying to take control of the body. So right there, okay. if you find yourself having sex with something like this, that means that is a demon that is lodged up in your body. And that person taking you over as if you belong to them. And it's always from the back. Behind me. Right. So that is to show that that person also wanted to to destroy you. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I take authority over that demon right now. I take authority over that demon right now and I command that demon to flee in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that demon to get get out of here right now. I command that demon to let you loose right now. I command that demon to let you loose right now. I command that demon to flee from you right now. I command that demon to get out of you right now. Get out of you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I loose you right now. I loose you right now and I set you free in the name of the Lord God Almighty. Holy Ghost fire sent upon your body. Holy Ghost fire sent upon your body. I send the fire of God upon your body right now to loose you from that demon for that demon to get out of you right now for that demon to loose you and set you free you have no must not have no latin part with the dead and the dead must not have no latin part with the living you don't belong to that demon and that demon don't belong to you that demon don't own you anymore so i cut every mark i cut every mark right now in jesus name right now in the name of jesus Jesus Christ. I command the fire of God to burn out that sensation out of you right now in Jesus' name. I cut that soul tides with that demon. I cut it, I cut it, I cut it, and I set you free. I loose you from it right now in Jesus' name. Oh, I agree. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command the blood of Jesus Christ over you. The blood of Jesus Christ upon you, my God Almighty. The blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus. And when you see these things, when you see these, when you see these things is happening, for a, for a demon to come in the midst and always want to come back with to show that, my God Almighty, yes, you talk about the Lord, name it and whatever, but your spirit man is weak and need to rise up in God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cut you loose by the... Who under Jesus Christ heaven is that talking? Minister Gay, find that person and cut that person off the line. From you, ma'am. I'm sorry. Is that noise coming from your background? 
Not from my background, for my house. Why? Okay. There's nobody here for me. Minister Gay, can you find that per look for that person with from me, Joshua? Look if you find that person. I'm trying. These people can I, can I share a small testimony with you? Wait, um is this testimony pertaining to this line? Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay, go ahead. Uh I, I, I found this line by just searching through, uh, looking for uh, prayer. And I came across you and started praying with you. It started, I mean, listening to you every day. I would put my phone on your service every night. And I would be on the line all the time, but I never see anything. But anyway, nevertheless, you started praying about demonic spirits, and I started praying with you. I started praying with you, and all of a sudden, I just started throwing up, throwing up. I threw up for three days. Wow. I had to take off from work. I had to take off from work for three days. I was having a problem with my legs, and the problem that I have with my legs is gone now. And... Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, some other problems I was having also. But because of the prayers that I have prayed with you, and I pull up uh, some of your old teachings and stuff, and. I have really been freed a lot. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What you said your name is? What you, what you said your name and, and you is? Know my sister, Hola, Minister what's get her name, please. It's the same lady, Ethelene. 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 I'm telling you it, um, that if you don't have her, um, the thing, just put her name in for me, please, and date it. It's already in there. I okay, so bless. Oh, bless the name of the I, Lord. I tried, I, tried to, I tried to pull up the address so I can send in... Um, um, you can, what you can do, Ethelene, I can, is I, you can I, 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 Yeah, no, there's, you can, you can go to the email address, help for repentance, serve Jesus at gmail.com, all one sentence, you'll see it posted on the channel, and I will communicate with you. Well, that's what I thought I did, but I could never get it up. I could never get it up. Well, you have to put help, H-E-L-P-F-O-R, then another R for repentance, serve Jesus, at gmail.com. Help for repentance. Help for repentance, serve Jesus, at gmail.com. Okay. And then I will, I will correspond with you. Okay, I, I'll give it a try again and see what happens. But I could never see an address. I, and I have to do it over my phone because I don't have um, a yeah. working computer. <laughs> okay. You want me to, you want me to okay. mute this and you give her your email address? Now, I'm not going to put your hands on the ear. Go ahead and give her your email address so that she can write your shooting case. Glory be to God. I didn't want that out there. I, I prefer mine. Let mine go out there because mine is for that. Yours are personal, so I don't want yours to go out there to each yeah. and every one. Glory be to so God. So she, she shut the recording down so that it was not broadcast everywhere. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mm. And, and Apostle, were you saying something before she asked that question when she gave the testimony? And she was saying that, you know, all of the, she was listening to even the old teachings, and she said she's been free, you know, from so much. Glory be was to God. Was there something you were starting to say, Apostle? I don't quite remember, but the only thing I can say, this is what, maybe you hear me speaking on the inside pertaining to you, because these are the things that you you know, people need to hear these things to know that all it takes is faith for them to tap in and to pray along, and they can get their deliverance right there. This is very good. And you know what, and you know what, people of God, she, you heard her say, she's working just.
just off of her phone. So it goes to show you that when you are determined, and she came into agreement with what she heard, you know, as the woman of God was praying, and she received it for herself and spent three mm. days in, in, in freedom, you know, throwing up and, and getting rid of things. So I bless God for your tapping in and coming into that agreement, my sister. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. We rejoice with you. Bless be the name of the Lord. This is great. This is great. We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, now, the ne next person, is there anyone else um, that did not get a chance to ask a spiritual question that would like to? Anyone else? Anyone else that would like to come forward? Remember, two question? people, two people oh, were, were trying to ask those questions before they can go ahead and do it now. One yes, after the other. We can go with, we'll take, um, we'll take, uh, Mother Arlene, and then there was um, Marsha McGee. So go ahead, Mother Arlene, and then we'll go to Marsha McGee. Okay. Praise God. Thank you again. Um, Apostle, I'm referring to Mother Janelle and the dream situation she was just saying. I, too, have the same situation. I dream words, sentences, and I have a notebook on the side of my bed to write. I'm asking the question, why is it that we feel so depressed when that happens. Come forward to write. So when it when it comes to write, why we feel so depressed? Why we feel so suppressed? Well, I, I call it maybe suppressed when you're sleeping that you can because it's like the spirit of God wake you up or so not wake you up, but you're sleeping and the spirit is speaking. You have the, the dreams or you have words or sentences. You're hearing it. You're repeating it. You're repeating it. But for your body to wake up to start writing down what you're hearing, why is it so hard? Are you suppressed by demons and what you're supposed to do? What, no, what the, the, reason why, the reason why that can happen. Number one, if you're a person that eat before you go to sleep, those are things that can overpower your body. It left to what you eat. You might have sweets. You might have, you know, food. Name it. And right there, your body itself, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling, you know, when, when your belly full and all that, you're comfortable, you're laid back. So you're fine. The same in the natural, the same it will happen even for with the spiritual. You get what I'm saying to you? Okay. Yes. So yes. right there, if you eat before you go to sleep and what have you, you will find that will be a spiritual fight for you to able to flow and can able to, you know, to, to, to receive because the enemy will fight you right there by taking control of your spiritual body. And the reason why you can feel lazy, heavy, and down is, is left to all your, 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 your spiritual body as dragged. You know, it, it's like it dragging you. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. I understand. You have no control over it. No control uh, over it. Blockage that you cannot even remember sometimes, you know, those dreams or whatever you're having. Many times when you cannot remember your dreams, it can cause because your mind can be overload with stuff. If your minds are overload with stuff, you can't able to focus. You can't able to remember because other things block your mind. The, the physical is okay. becomes more spiritual in your mind. You get what I'm saying? So you find that will happen. And also, also as I said, if you're a person that um, eat late and all that, you find your your spiritual structure becomes lazy and lousy and don't want to push. Okay. You understand me? Yes, I understand your mother. It take it takes um control of the body. Okay. 
So right there you have to definitely know what time to eat, what you're having, don't eat and, and lay down. And if you know if it rests up in your stomach right there, it's gonna bring a great blockage. Okay, got you, I got it, thank you. Understand? Thank you. So these are the things that happen many times to us and we don't know. But I just want you all to know that. You have to know what you eat or drink, go to bed. Don't eat sweet, go to your bed late. That will take over your bloodstream and put you to become lousy. Mm. Sweet, sweet was our, sweet was, sweet was ordained by, by, by these demonic people to take control over the body, to get the body fat and lazy. You understand me? Somebody having conversation in the back there? I think so. These people are so serious. People, whoever is having a meeting or a conversation in your background, please mute your phone. Yes, um, Mr. Marsha McGee, you had another question. So yes. yes. I, I, I was not able to come on Friday's um, service, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to ask, so when will that service will be released to the YouTube? And um, what will be the title? That's that. Oh, um, it's it's, it's waiting. Conference locked. Oh, for. Okay, thank it's you. Conference unlocked. The the title is going to be um, be delivered. Trust. Let me give it to you. And and, and what you can do, I wrote you back, my sister. I that sent you an email to tell you that um, you can if you when you subscribe. You can also put automatic notifications on, on your computer so that you will know whenever a new message is posted. But it's going to be called Be Delivered, Trust, Cease, Commit, Delight, and Rest in God. It's time to reap the sweet. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And it should be, it'll be later on today, but if yes. you set your YouTube for the notifications, It'll pop up right in the corner and tell you that a new message was posted. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Anyone else have a question? Spiritual question for the woman of God. Anyone else in the midst that might not have been able to ask one earlier? Come forth. Now this is a great opportunity, people, for us to get answers to some of those things that might be perplexing and to bring that clarity. Anyone else? Yes. I'm not sure if anyone else had a question, but I wanted to give a testimony. Okay, I want to just um, ask Apostle like a general question, a spiritual question. How can a person know the difference between what they think is, you know, the voice of God speaking and maybe just their own humanism, their own, you know, natural mind? Or how can they distinguish? Okay, one of the way that you can get to know that is you have for instance if 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 the person is someone that is um has been ruled with other spirit like taking over with other spirit you will find that person will always come with their own agenda for instance they will come in the midst to say Oh, this is what I want. You get what I'm saying to you? And if that person have that idea of what they really want, you will find in the midst of the mind, it can, you can even speak it out before you even um, 
you know, know that he will say it and what of you and you will find that thing will will speak in your spirit and you might think is God speaking it as well as where if you're a person then you know whenever you're going through da 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 da, da you're always you know complaining murmuring and saying and whatever the enemy will want to use something like that against you and when you're sitting down there da 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 you will hear it, it can speak in your spirit and it can say oh yes this is what i've been asking god and i just hear the answer or if not whenever you whenever god speak it's always a different. He will come with a still voice. You have to understand. One thing I always tell people, and I learned this from the Holy Spirit when I was much younger. The enemy is not intelligent. He will just come and twist things his way. Just as how they do it with Eve. And, and the... How could I put it? With Eve and the, the snake. When he come telling her, you know, God, <coughs> the serpent, when he come and said, God will not really just so and so, but, you know, he put it so close and so, you know, in, 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 in a way, the way he put it, you know, definitely that, you know, he's trying to copy, bring carbon, copy, name it. Whenever the Lord speak, there is always a peace that pass it all understanding it gives you such a peace that it you don't get that that worry spirit and let me say this god always will speak first the enemy will speak after god always go at what you hear first and weigh it and say god is this really you question god about it before you even open your mouth and speak it then right there you said you can also say god can you confirm this with your word and you will even go god will even send you into the scripture and confirm what you have heard with the word if you see it is troubling and bothering your spirit that means it is not of God because God will not give anyone something to bring such a pain and strain on their mind. Amen. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. Yes. So you have to just, you know, weigh these things and know exactly. If you are a person that have your own agenda, the enemy will bring your answer. Your mind. Listen me, people of God. You might even have a situation where you don't speak out anything for the enemy to hear it. But your mind can be a big enemy to you. And why your mind can be an enemy to me? Because there's a subconscious part of you that would want to hear something good to make you happy. And because of that, the mind will play trick on you. Many times it's not the enemy speaking things in your mind. Because if you don't talk it, the enemy cannot bring it. Many times it is you yourself, your very own self playing that trick. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Now we can, Apostle. How far did you hear it? I heard you until you said your mind can be a big enemy to you. Right. So what I'm trying to say, many times your mind can be a big enemy to you because your mind know, your, 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 you yourself know exactly what will make you feel good, what will make you happy, what will make you know, you know that, um, you know, this is what I like and this is what I want and da, 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 da. So many times it's not the enemy. Many times it's not God. Many times it is your mind that is speaking what you enjoy hearing in your spirit. Because the mind of a way of corresponding with the spirit man on the inside. I want to hear what I'm saying. Yeah. So you right there have to know. If this is something you must jump to, or if this is something you must have God deal with. Many times I'm, I'm, when I'm on the line and I'm speaking to people, I hear things speaking, speaking different from the voice of God. I hear things speaking in my mind. In your mind is not a voice thing. In your mind is something that you definitely know that it is speaking from somewhere inside of you. I don't know if you all get that. Yes, yes, yes. 
So right there, you must try and practice to know the difference of when your mind speaking and the difference of when God speaking. God speak down into the heart and the mind speak up in your head. Yes, yes, yes. And that's something yes. you need to take note of. And as I said, if it speak and your spirit man is troubled, it is not God. Although some people, God will speak and some people don't want to hear it and they're very troubled and upset about it. But it's, it's still, you still can know when God speak. Amen. And if, if you're not sure, you say, God, if this is not you, let it go right now in Jesus' name. If it is you, God, give me a word to confirm it. And you don't have to even speak out That's what you right. hear. Right, just right. Best thing does to do is... align with the scripture, Apostle? Does that align with the scripture where he's talking about try the spirits or test yes, the spirits? Yes, yes, yes. Try the spirit. Okay. Yeah, that's what. Okay. That's where it's in line with. Yeah. Definitely, okay. without a doubt. Okay. Without a doubt. Okay. Yep. So the mind can be the biggest enemy. Not just the devil, the mind. Worse if, Life listen to me, you, the enemy, right? you know, yes, you know, all the mind can be an enemy when you support the spirit of murmuring, complaining, um, rebellion, name all them spirit. When you support those kind of spirit, the mind will mess you up. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. And the devil will come and mess you up too when you speak out and when you talk about it and when you, you know, especially you sit down by yourself, this is what I need, I know God is speaking and I want this and God just pull himself away and the devil just, eat the, the, the realm of the devil just open up and hear in you. Right. When rebellion. And is it that sometimes then for people to, um, you know how people, you know, you pray out loud. When you pray out loud, mm -hmm. even the you know the enemy hears you. So, should you sometimes just be silent? Should you just pray mm -hmm. in tongues? How do you avoid? Yes, sometimes you can. Sometimes, healing? sometimes you can pray in tongues if you don't want the enemy to hear what you are saying. But at the same time, when you are praying in tongues, you have to act. To activate your mind with something good. The enemy will bring mess in your mind and mess up that prayer. Right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yep. That's for that revelation. That's very powerful Thank right God. there. Hallelujah. Thank God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Anyone else have questions? Anyone else that didn't get the opportunity to ask, go forth if you have a question. Anyone else? Anyone else that has a question? If nobody have any question, Minister Gay, please go forth and wrap up right now in Jesus' name. Okay. That's that. Listen me. Right. Listen me, people. Oh, listen me, people. All oh, that a minute, minister again. Okay. All oh, that a minute, a minute again. That is the reason why you all must be prepared. Write stuff down. Don't be lazy and lousy and tell yourself later you're gonna do it. Always have a book and pen. Write your stuff down so that when you're in the midst, you can something you can't even keep in a pocketbook. You might be at a friend house. You might be somewhere that you never can tell. So that when things like this come about, you're right there to ask your question. God, we should all keep our own form of a journal, you know, your own journal, whether it is to chronicle, you know, the words you're reading that day, or if you have spiritual questions, these are great things, writing down testimonies and capturing it and journal it and chronicle it. Just like Apostle says, you know, calendar yourself. Try to get yourself a journal and just to jot some of these things down because it will really be helpful. Amen. Amen. The people of God, I just want to remind everyone that we will be coming together again on Wednesday for service at 6 a.m. When you come on the line, please, please, please know that it is a time of corporate prayer. It is a time.
time for everyone to come into one spirit, one accord, to pray, get the atmosphere stirred, pray for the service, pray for the ministry, pray for the YouTube channel, pray that there be no distractions, no blockages, that things will flow freely with women of God in that service, because whether you know it or not, there's still so many things trying to come against this ministry behind the scenes. Yes, God. We just want everyone to be in that attitude. It is a very, very special and sacred time at 6 a.m. when we come. And know that we meet again on Fridays at 6 a.m. That is the time the Lord has set aside for the time for people to be delivered. Time for the digging out of roots. And for... The Lord to use the woman of God in the third heaven to pull down what's going on in the first and the second heaven in people's lives. So know that it is a time for us not to just spectate, but to be. If you're going to be there for the duration of the Friday service, just put your seatbelt on and be praying right along. Pray softly, be in agreement. If she is dealing one-on-one -on -one with a person, you can also receive for yourself. It is there for us to be able to receive at all times. And Sundays we come together at noon. Remember that Wednesdays and Fridays we fast for the ministry. Whether you can do so from 6 a.m. to noon, from 6 a.m. to 3, or 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. It is about fasting and praying for things to move for this ministry. As the word says, some things cannot be done without prayer and fasting. So we bless God that we are able to come together and to do this for things to happen as the sanctuary is getting ready to come forth. And continue to lift up the woman of God in your prayers. Know that she is continually praying without ceasing for each and every one of us. Please pray for the YouTube channel, that the Lord would bring more and more people as he's done many of you in the midst who came via the YouTube channel. And we bless God for that powerful social media vehicle. What the enemy might be using for bad in some cases, God is using for good through this ministry. So please put your comments, your testimonies, your likes, share the channel with others. And also, share the number for the empowerment line. Let them know that it is not a prayer line, but it is a church to be empowered, to be delivered, to be saved, healed, set free. Miracle signs and wonders that are in operation. Look forward to Friday's service later on. Check and it will be posted. And if you take a look, you can see... All of the recent postings on the line. We bless God for the service for Isaiah 53 and Psalm 53. So much that the Lord is doing on this channel that you can avail yourself of. You will never, ever, ever be without a moment of the Spirit moving. You can set it in your midst. You can put it on your desktop, your laptop, your tablet. Your smartphone, you can take it with you in the car, put a cable in, plug it in, and you will continually be connected to the YouTube channel. I call it the 24-7, 365 Holy Ghost Emergency Room Hospital, available for each and every need. And people know that we are right in the midst of the month of April, the month of springing, the month of blooming, the month of planting, picking, and most importantly, keeping. So between now and Wednesday when we get back together, we have so much that we can take advantage of. The Word and the YouTube channel, all of the Word of God that is brought forth. And for those that want to bless this ministry, you can contact me at the email address. Help for repentance, serve Jesus at gmail.com and I will be happy to correspond with you. And anything that needs that you have, you can use that email address. And as we close out this service on such a high note, we thank God for using the woman of God.
God with those spiritual questions. And if you have more, write them down because you never know when the Lord will do this. I think he did this about maybe three, four months back, and it was powerful. And it is a blessing to each and every one that we can hear each other's questions and we can be empowered with the answers that the woman of God brings forth. Know that Apostle is going to God for us, but we also have to do our part and pray diligently for her, for the house to come forth for her, for the sanctuary, for the financial blessings to come into this ministry because people of God, it does take finances to do. As you can hear, we have a phone system that echoes. We have certain things that go on with that service provider. We are grateful to God for it. We're not complaining. We know that better is coming, but it does take finances. We will eventually be able to pipe in and have the empowerment line going with the service. And people will be able to hear the services that are taking place live, just like we're doing now. But it'll come from the sanctuary. And we know that we will have a phone system that will, people can call in from all around the world because I am getting emails from people in other countries that are relying upon the YouTube channel that they don't have the ability to call in because of where they're located. So know, people of God, that we need to have the equipment to do all of this, and it's happening. God is doing it in His order and in His timing, because He's a God of order, and we give Him praise. I hope you all were blessed until we meet again, as Mother Yvonne is going to come forth and close out this service with Matthew 6, verses 9. We take it all the way to 15. So you be blessed. Love you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Go forth, Mother Yvonne, and God bless you. Amen. People of God, Mother 6, verse 9, go 15, boldly up to me. Our Father, which art in heaven, I don't see thy name. Our Father, who art in heaven, I don't see thy name. Jesus Christ for his goodness and his mercy. Thank him for his loving kindness. 
towards us, people of God. Just know that God is in control of everything and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And whatever God said, he mean it because he have said in Numbers, my God Almighty 23 verses 19, he said, he's not the God that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. And it is for us, my God Almighty, to get it in our spirit and understand that he's in operation. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless and keep you. May his face continue to shine upon each and every one of you. God bless you all as you go along throughout the day. Don't forget the poor and the needy. Don't forget those that don't have a roof over their head. Don't forget those that don't eat nothing from morning. I don't know where the next meal coming from. Lift up a prayer for them, people of God. And be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as we go along. Continue to tune in onto the YouTube channel. And my God Almighty, be blessed with whatever God has put in the midst. Be blessed, be blessed. Holy Ghost, kisses to each and every one. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you all, love you all, love you all in Jesus' name. And enjoy your family, please enjoy you and your family. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your watch, honey.